have you ever considered the fact that you might, as you pray for someone else, that you might be the answer to your own prayer? You might be praying for someone else to be encouraged. And you're, you're like frustrated. God, why won't you encourage them? And God's going, I'm waiting for you. I'm sending you. Like, get off your tush and go encourage them. I mean, there, there's times where we're, we're praying for other people. And listen, I am all for prayer. And there are things that only God can do. There, there are healing People who are sick, we're, we're praying for healing. That's something only God can do. I can't heal anybody. But there are other times we're praying, man, God, I hope you provide for their needs. And he's like, yeah, guess who I'm going to provide so that you can provide? I'm going to give you what you need so you can help somebody else out. God, man, I really hope that you can, you know, fix their car. And God's like, yeah, do you know somebody who can fix a car? Maybe it's you. Lord, I'm praying for somebody. They're really going through a hard time. They just need somebody to sit in silence and walk alongside them as they need it. And he's like, yeah. You're the answer to that prayer. Don't wait for me. Go. I'm answering your prayer, but it's you. You want to comfort somebody? You want God to comfort them? Maybe, just maybe, he's waiting for you to go and be the answer to the prayer that you're praying. But see, to, to give your life away like that, it's still risky. It doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that it's still, it still can be scary to give our lives away. Right? When you step into an uncomfortable position with somebody else, an uncomfortable space where they're going through hurt or loss. Maybe they're not sure how they're going to get through another day. Maybe there's a, a struggle that you honestly are not equipped for. It is overwhelming for you. And yet, you still have an opportunity to step into that space and to be the presence of God to them. And in doing that, you may not know how it's going to play out. And so the temptation then is to wait until we know for sure. To wait for the optimal conditions, Right? I can tell you right now that the only guarantee of failure is if you never try. See, when Jesus came and he gave his life, when Jesus, think about this, he broke through the fabric of time and space in order to get to us. And he risked everything. He gave up all that he had in heaven. Right, the riches of heaven, he gave up all that. put it all on the line to come here, to be with us, to risk his life, to go to the cross. He didn't do that so we could play it safe. He didn't do that so we could have our little, little shrink-wrapped lives and we could be safe and, and hunker down and hoard everything that we have. He did that so that we would know how loved we are and out of that security of knowing that our future is secure because of how he's loved us, we would then have the audacity and the courage to give our lives away. What an amazing opportunity that God has given to us to live boldly, to live with courage, to dare. This is what I'm praying for us that we become this kind of a people, that we wouldn't settle for the normal. We would pursue, pursue the insanity of Jesus. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing.